Hey, I want to welcome everybody to another Zoom interview, and I'm excited about this one. Uh, this one is um, a friend of mine from the gym that I help train at, and this is Dr. Perry Peace. Um, so thank you. Thank you for taking the time and welcome. Yeah. Hi, Joe. It's good to see you. You too. You too. So uh, Dr. Perry, um, you know, this is kind of a strange moment in time for everybody where life has just kind of really been interrupted and the normal flow of things is just up in the air. And a lot of people are feeling, you know, stress and anxiety and isolation and, um, you know, just not, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think we're, this is a definitely a unique time for, for all of us. Um, my background is in crisis and trauma, and um, I used to work at the Alachua County Crisis Center, and so um, we would respond a lot for natural disasters, and um, we even went to, um, I responded out to New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina, um, and so, you know, kind of going through the, and I'm sure, you know, maybe a lot of the folks that um, are watching are probably Floridians and are you yeah. know know what it's like to kind of prep for a hurricane and I think the whole country is getting a feel for that right now. Right. Um, yeah. But this is such a different experience because I think that um, just the longevity of it and not really knowing that we you know it's the uncertainty um, and kind of the fear that, that underlies a lot of it um, that makes it really difficult. And then I think when we're exposed to media or social media or, um, you know, everyone is kind of reacting, but there's mm -hmm. kind of underlying sense of fear and um, helplessness that we're, that we're all feeling um, and throughout, you know, the entire world right now, um, that it's a, a really unique kind of experience. It's funny that you mentioned prepping for a hurricane because I was just talking the other day that it has that feel almost when you yeah. go out and sure. like, it's like it's not coming like when's it coming in the you know? hurricane like we can see it we know you know right. it's like you feel this kind of excitement and this energy and it's kind of like prepping and it's coming but this one it's like you know it's kind of we're prepping and we're trying to you know i think one thing that's been really helpful is um if you've heard of like maslow's hierarchy of needs uh -huh. it's like the the pyramid and that essentially like we've all just had the like bottom two levels knocked out like the oh, state yeah. Of like our our basic um, like physiological needs, just shelter and food and um, safety, and then our you know sense of safety. And so, if you think about it that way, it's hard to um, you know focus on these kind of higher and to continue functioning and um, working or you know doing homeschool with our kids if we don't have those kind of. Hmm level you know foundational pieces there and so you know that all of us have um you know experienced that they feel really shaky right now and that's a really scary um place to be uh, yeah. but that we you know are all kind of in it together so so for for people right now say you know you've got you've got uh you know a, a couple at home with the kids or a single parent at home with the kids and you know they're trying to um shelter the kids as much as possible you know trying to in the new normal and trying to create as much consistency as possible but how in the world do they care for themselves you know how do they yeah, kind sure. of decompress after because you know we're all feeling it too Absolutely. and if, you're, if we're parents you know then we're trying to keep them but how do you, what, what are some things that they could do uh, as parents yeah, I mean, I think I have a, a one-year-old and a four-year-old, and so, yeah, it's like trying to <laughs> manage all of that and function and um, try to do stuff that, um, you know, and also the kids are so perceptive, and so yes. um, that also we want to make sure that, you know, yes, we want to shelter them, but we also want to um, inform them at a, like, developmentally appropriate right. level. And so making sure that um, we're not just, you know, hiding everything, but that, yeah, like we were explaining to them and it's okay too to um, acknowledge some of what we're feeling that, yeah, you know, we we're feeling kind of afraid or we're feeling things are really uncertain and that's, right. that's kind of scary. Um, that's okay. And we're doing everything we can that will protect you as, you know, as much as we can. And, um, but also in giving space for them to process and letting that a lot of times kids, um, you know, process through play. And so making sure that there's like, 
connection for them and um, getting outside a lot, I think is really helpful. Um, but also the, yeah, like parents, we have to recharge too. And that right. we, um, you know, also I think being really flexible that um, I, I heard a quote recently that um, was saying, you know, we're um, working from home or homeschooling, but we're really not. We're like in this crisis at home trying to work and trying to like homeschool or, you know, teach our children. And so it's not that we're, we're not working from home and we're not homeschooling. Like most of us are not qualified to, to do that. And so can we just think of it as, yeah, we're home during this crisis trying to, you know, connect and take care of each other as best we can and that kind of it takes some of the pressure off I think that really does Um, because I think those expectations that um, yeah that we have to do all of these things and you know teach our kids all the math lessons and um, it's like yeah that that's a lot to you know we're already going through a lot but I think um, just kind of surviving and functioning right now is is pretty good um, you know, and having somewhat of a routine, you know, waking up at, um, you know, a set time or going to bed at a set time, taking a shower, getting dressed for the day, mm-hmm. uh, even if, you know, you're not going out and doing things that you would normally do. Um, and I think that helps a lot with, you know, with the kids too, is having this kind of routine. Um, but also being flexible that, yeah, you know, kids probably have more screen time right now than normal. And that's totally fine. Sometimes as a parent, that's what you need too. Yeah. <laughs> and that's totally okay. Or, you know, it's like being able to, um, you know, maybe let them have access to the screens and you go in the other room and call somebody and, you know, kind of process or get some support for yourself. And like, that's really okay. Nice. Yeah. I, I like that idea of, that you know, you're not working from home, you're not homeschooling, we're all in this crisis and we're at home because that does relieve, that does take a lot of pressure off. Sure. If, if you're looking at like that, it's like, okay, well, we're going to do what we can, but I'm not going to stress if I don't get to this point. Because, Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, that does bring a lot of freedom. So what about, so what about somebody, let's say, you know, I've got a lot of friends that are single, and they're they're in their house or their apartment and it's them you know maybe they have a pet with them or not um what are some things that they could do to try to you know i mean i mean what what would you what what advice would you give them yeah i mean i think that right like as humans like we we biologically have a need for connection um and that we need to connect with uh, like our nervous systems um need uh connection in order to kind of self-regulate and so we can do that you know thankfully we have technology um and you know ideally um this form like video chat um so that you can actually like see the person and see their responses that um that that does a lot for our our nervous systems and kind of helping to um you know kind of reset and regulate um and so if that's not you know even just talking to someone on the phone um ideally so you can kind of hear their voice um but really um reaching out and knowing if there's somebody that you know is on their own um just checking in with them checking in with people and just kind of um, seeing how everyone's doing, that this is a really, really difficult time. Um, and I think getting outside, um, just to be outside in the air, to look at the sky and the tree. I mean, thankfully, um, that, yeah, like we're in Florida and it's nice and warm out and (laughs) you you can sit in your backyard or you can just kind of breathe some fresh air, open windows. Um, but I think that's a really, good thing for people to do. Um, And then any sort of um, self-care, you know, exercise, obviously, that for both Mm -hmm. of us, is a really uh, big one. Um, But other things like meditation, um, there's a lot of um, free meditation apps right now, or yoga. Um, Insight Timer is one of the the meditation apps that I like a lot. It's got a lot of um, like guided meditations or just a timer you can use um, or even like breathing exercises Mm -hmm. to help kind of regulate the breath and calm 
um, calm your body down. Um, and even just basic thing, you know, again, thinking back to the um, Maslow's hierarchy that it's like our, our basic needs, like eating well, staying hydrated, um, just getting enough sleep, like the, just focus, like we could just focus on those really basic things right now. Um, and anything that people need to do to feel safe and secure. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of judgment about all the like people hoarding toilet paper and, <laughs> but it's like, if you think about it from that, it's like, I think they're, they're just trying to feel yeah safe and secure. And so if they need to like hoard toilet paper and then, you know what, I will <laughs> not judge and hopefully there's enough for everyone, but. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's funny. So, um, so as we go through this, you know, somebody might be watching this and they might be thinking to themselves, you know, Hey, um, I'm trying to do a lot of that type of stuff. I'm, I'm still feeling, you yeah. know, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety more so than I normally do. Um, at what point, does somebody, you know, if they're watching this, at what point should somebody say, hey, maybe, maybe I need to actually talk to somebody, you know, sure, I sure. can go for a run and I'm not, it's not changing anything. You know? Yeah. And this, that, you know, one to just kind of normalize that everyone right now is feeling anxiety. Right. Like, don't be concerned if you are feeling a lot of anxiety and a lot of um, that I think collectively we're grieving, you know, we're grieving yeah. having our kind of normal um, lives and ways that we function and ways that we engage in the world taken from us. Um, and we don't know how long that will last. And that's the uncertainty and grief um, are really hard to kind of sit with and grapple with. Um, and so I think, I think some kind of warning sign or so a lot of the things that maybe we would normally do for coping just might not be cutting it right because <laughs> it's like okay like well usually i like to go for a run but i go for a run and then i get back and it's oh you know i feel it all again um and that's where i think reaching out to friends family you know people for connection just to kind of vent process um but i think if the anxiety, if it feels like, oh my gosh, I'm just like having trouble functioning, I'm having mm -hmm. trouble, like I can't um, focus, like I'm not sleeping at night, um, that that's a great time just to reach out to someone. Um, and I think especially if, you know, people start to experience like feelings of hopelessness or um, maybe suicidal thoughts or thoughts mm -hmm. about self-injury or, um, you know, it's like, I think that those are just kind of normal, like human thoughts to have when we're in something that feels really scary in a crisis like this, but it might also be a time that, hey, maybe I need to reach out to someone. Um, the Alachua County Crisis Center is a great resource. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, yeah right. their, their number is 352-264-6789, um, or you can just Google Alachua County Crisis Center. They also have a like information line for all of this. It's 311, um, but they are fantastic, and they're there 24-7. Um, you can call, it can be anything. Um, they, they are tr uh, trained volunteers and they um, are fantastic. And so, and if you do feel like you're having suicidal thoughts or there's concerns um, or maybe like substance use uh, might be another one because mm -hmm. you know, it's like, those are also coping mechanisms and they're pretty effective coping mechanisms, but they're, they're not the healthiest and that they can also um, kind of get us into trouble or kind of lead to um, more issues than benefit. Um, right. and so I think that, yeah, like those, the, the crisis center is a really wonderful resource. And I think, you know, for, I would support anyone kind of getting help or getting support if they feel like they need, and there's nothing wrong with you if you right. reach out, like, it's just, um, you know, I'm a therapist and I go talk to a therapist when I'm going through a lot. Um, it's just you know, a way that we can take care of ourselves. Um, there's no, no shame in it. Doesn't mean anything about you. Right, right. Well, well, Dr. Perry, I really uh, appreciate it. I know that there are going to be people watching this that uh, yeah. very much appreciate your guidance and yeah. encouragement. Um, so it, it, before we take off here, was there anything else that you, you felt like you wanted to add? Yeah, I think if, if nothing else, it just being kind to yourselves and kind to others that like, if we can just do that and be, you know, we're all um, have our moments and we're like, yes. it's a rough time. And so let's just be, have compassion for, you know, for ourselves and for everybody else too. And we'll get through that. This is not going to last forever that, 
um, you know, it's a marathon, but we will get through it and that we need to just kind of be there for each other as much as we can. I love that. I love that thought. Thank you. Well, yeah. Dr. Perry, thank you so much for all of your time. We won't keep yeah, you forever. You. Um, I know that uh, the people watching this are going to be blessed. And uh, so again, thank you very much. You're welcome. Right. You're welcome.